trillions could flow through cryptos like Stellar XLM and you and I, your award-winning Stellar XLM crypto developer, could benefit. And yes, people, it's clear now, it's all about the fundamental facts of the matter. And really, today's focus, again, is on the Saraband DAP. The Saraband DAP part two. So we ready to the part one? This is the part two. And this is where we're going to be adding the Freighter wallet and the incrementer so that you can see the whole functionality. And we can see clearly today, Bitcoin is holding that price of 72,000, which is amazing because we know that technically we have cleared the previous all time high. This is a major bull run and other cryptos, altcoins are sure to follow. Nathan, over to you. Great, thanks for that Nathan. So we've run the build. Now it's time to call the incrementer from the front end and add a wallet. And the wallet that we're gonna be using is called the Freighter wallet, which you can download here. And it works with your Firefox um, browser. Um, and you can have a Google Chrome extension or a Brave extension to use that wallet. I just use Chrome. Um, I may go ahead and use browser and you install it from there. All right. So Freighter is really the chosen wallet at the moment. The only one at the moment, from what I understand, is compatible with Saraban. So really, once you've done that, go through the settings. If I can show you quickly here. To get this future net, you need to come here. All right, and go into, is it preferences? Yeah, preferences and allow this experimental mode. Okay, otherwise you won't be able to get um, this future net. Whatever you've read before on Saraban, um, the documents may not be updated. They may be um, a little bit older, but this is the process. This is the way to go through it. So it's fortunate you're actually watching this um, tutorial because it's gonna save you a lot of time and hassle, which I had previously. All right. Uh, now, adding Freighter, it's very simple. We're going to add a connect button to the page that opens a Freighter and prompts the user to give your web page permission to use Freighter. Once they grant this permission, the connect button will be placed with a message saying, sign in as your public key, right? Pretty much like what you see here. Signed in, and that's my public key. And as you can see, we've got the incrementer added to it and we've updated the value. All right, so what you want to do is copy this npm install, okay, into your terminal. All right, then we need to work around a bug in npm, adding new dependencies with npm install, new dependencies doesn't run post install hook the way that npm installs does but it runs the cleanup logic that removes incorrect folders like node modules hello saraban client so you either need to run npm i a shortcut for npm install or npm post install we run npm post install and what that's going to do is clean that node module up and then we need to so it will take that node module out of your node modules folder here okay mine's done already and then we need to add a new component there's going to be several components so what you want to do is copy and paste that so Control c um, and then find the source components which is source components and as you can see we've already added it what does it look like this okay don't forget to save that once you've added it and as you can see you just copy that once you've created that file it's easier for me i always just navigate to the directory okay so source components i'm in this directory now if i don't have it then i just click plus file there and then paste it in there control c nice and easy simple and then uh, copy that 
and then this page will be blank for you. Um, populate it, command C, sorry, command V to paste. Some of this may look surprising. Style and script tags in the middle of the page. Uncreative class names like wrap, import statements in script, top level await, what's going on here? Astro automatically scopes the styles within the component to that component. So there's no reason for us to come up with a clever name or clever names for classes. And all the script declarations get bundled together and included intelligently in the page. Even if you use the same component multiple times, the script will only be included once. And yes, you can use top level await. You can read more about this Astra page here, and that's really to do with Astra. But for this code, code, code up, this follow along, we don't need to get into Astra too much because actually you'll probably be using React and you're going to be using React and Next more than likely um, in future developments. The code itself here is pretty self explanatory. We import a few methods from Stellar Freighter API to check if the user is logged in and if they already are then is allowed to returned true if it's been more than a day since they've used the freighter extension then the public key will be blank so we will tell them to unlock freighter and to refresh the page if allowed and the public key both looks good we replace the contents of the div with the signed in message replacing the button otherwise we add a click handler to the button to prompt the user to connect to the freighter um, with set allowed once once they do we can replace contents of the div with the signed in message the aria surf ensures that the screen readers will read the new contents when they when they're updated before we add this to our index page let's make the button look better open the layout astra page so let's go here da -da 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 -da. we're here navigate to beg your pardon pages outside your components folder in your source pages right here and then we want to come here astra and then we're going to add what we need to add to here okay so let's read on real quick so buttons we'll add all of that in there okay so you just copy that and we'll find buttons on our layouts page beg your pardon we're in the wrong one here so pages layouts is here this one here okay and then so if you've already got content in here, just navigate all the way down and then paste it in here. This is your section that you've pasted. All right, inside the style, inside the styles tag. That's that. And then we go, this copies the style from the card components that Astra included in the template. Now you can import the component in the format of page.index. So we want to add this line to it. Okay, remember don't copy the plus, command control. And then we're gonna navigate over to, a little bit ahead of myself here, at the header and paste that line in there, right in the middle where you see that, all right? And then what we need to do is add this connect, connect freighter um, tag to the H1 span, all right? So, what do we do? Navigate to the index pages, find the H1 span. Okay, where are we, where are we, where are we, H1? We are here somewhere. There we are, all right, and as you can see, we've added it here already. Okay, once you've done that, make sure you click save. Then we wanna run dev okay so run dev and what that will do is spin this page up for you okay and you'll have all of this set out you ain't you won't have the increment done yet but we'll get to that real quick i am conscious of time and i will cut this short as soon as possible so now that we've done all of that 
we need to add or call the incrementer. So we're going to do that by. So we're going to generate a contract client for the incrementer contract with a similar command to the one we used before. Let's move the hello bindings generation to its own script, add one for the incrementer and call them both from post install using double sampersands, ampersand, sorry. So we do that with this, bang, and that will go into your package JSON, which is here. You can see mine's slightly different, but you'll just be pasting that in there with whatever you've got. If you've got post install, remove that post install and add this post install here. Okay, and you will have post install, but update that to what it says there. Run npm install, which is sort for npm, sorry, npm i, which is sort for npm install. Then we want to navigate over to the source components counter, which you may not have. So that there, copy and paste that, or should I say, uh, command C, then we, what was the path? Components source, source components, run over to here. Source, components, so out layouts, out pages. And as you can see, I've already got it here, but what you'll do is hit add a file and, and then control V to paste that, open this, and then you'll jump over to here, copy and paste that into your counter which is this here and you'll have all of this code in here make sure you save as you go along so click the save button in your file file editor and then so we're moving on we've pretty much done it so this should be somewhat familiar by now so um just read through that and you'll get the idea it's very straightforward um, and there's some nifty little tricks in there. Um, and so let's add styles to uh, visually hide and load classes in layout. So add the following to the end of your styles tag. So we're going to go Astra button disabled visual. Did we do this? Shall we double check this? Let's double check this button is percent gray. So our styles tag in the layout. Not sure we did that. Did we do it? I don't think we did it. Oh, we did. Okay, hover over stuff. There we go. All right. Now let's use the component page index first prompt it. So we want to copy this counter command C and then go to the index page and as you'll see it is already pasted in there so astro counter already pasted in and then we want to remove all of this text from the p class instructions and add this counter tag which we've already done so we want to up we already an index which means we'll find our p tag We've got our h1 there's our p tag and there's our counter so we've already moved, removed that previous text that you got in there now look carefully here remove that okay that's why it says minus now check the page if you're still running your dev server you should have already updated it click the increment the button should see freighter confirmation confirm and a value update so i mean ours kind of does something like that update let's refresh we know we're already signed in for value updating there you go so it's doing something and that's probably to do with the funding of the wallet also as well so to streamline dev processes with some scripts clean up we can use this okay so you copy that module paste that into your scripts of your package json so clean so every time you, you run um, npm reset, this should all this script should all re, should all run, yeah. Clean and npm setup, right? That should all run all of that. It's all interlinked, okay? 
so let's have a look now there we go and then we want to copy and paste all this in which is what we've done create deploy deploy hello deploy incrementer deploy setup right which you could see here so what i was saying before we're going to keep in that post install all right and then we've again reset if you haven't done so already we had that reset there as you can see that resets up in there and post install this is our new post install did we do post install for this so we check post install i think we did yeah that looks about right okay now you can take it further um, any issues you got there to troubleshooting go through that wrapping it up um, you could do git diff to see what you've done and then more tutorials which is what i want to get on to and the exciting one we're looking at atomic swap so creating atomic swap for tokens and there you have it we've built our first app or dap if you like because we can call it that now as a decentralized application and what's to do next well that's entirely up to you perhaps maybe you might want to have an idea maybe create an nft something or an nft market or a wallet a swap wallet where you can swap your tokens and maybe seek some funding from the stellar community like i did in any case i'm nathan aka nathan of zion like and subscribe until moon have a great day check out the next video take care now